Are you a DoorDash customer? Are you someone that enjoys using the service and finds the convenience to be of value to you? And also, are you a customer that likes to give generous tips? If this is you, this warning is also for you. DoorDash is purposefully causing your food to be late and potentially cold. They're doing it on purpose and I'm going to explain why. So let me give you a scenario that might fit your situation. So let's say you place an order on DoorDash from a decent restaurant. Let's say for this example, Los Cabos, right? And you're going to order dinner for your family. This dinner is going to cost you $60, right? This is a very nice restaurant. So because you know that you live six miles away from the restaurant and you know how DoorDash works and you know that some Dasher is going to go and they're going to wait for your order. Then they have to drive the six miles and then they have to come back. You know that it has some value to you. And so you decide that you're going to be a very generous tipper and you tip the driver $10, let's say, on this order. Now, if you're not familiar, DoorDash pays its dashers a base pay plus whatever tip that you give. So let's say for this example, the base pay was $2.50. Your tip is $10, right? Now, on the DoorDash app, you would imagine that it shows that this delivery has a value of $12.50. For a six-mile trip, any Dasher is going to pick that up. If they have to wait for the order, they'll wait and they'll bring it to you because that is a, a very decent order. It's a generous tip. Any Dasher is going to pick that up. But here's the catch. DoorDash is not showing the Dasher that the order is worth $12.50. DoorDash is hiding your tip. They're not letting the Dasher know the tip that you're giving. They're just gonna give a random number, a much lower number. So on the Dasher side, we're gonna see something like $6.25, right? So now any Dasher is gonna see that order. When the, when the offer comes in, they're gonna look at that order, they're gonna see Los Cabos, which notoriously is going to be a few minutes late because these are nice dinners that have to be prepared. So they know there's going to be a little bit of wait time. And then they're going, well, six miles for $6.25. That's like roughly a dollar a mile. That is not worth my time. And they're, they're going to decline it. And this is going to keep happening. You're going to get different dashers are going to decline this order. Why? They don't know your tip is on there. They know that DoorDash is offering $6.25 they know it could be higher, but then they would have to take a chance in driving six miles for what could potentially be only 625, right? Then let's say you get a dasher that says, okay, you know what? I haven't had an order in a while. I might as well take it. This is an easy six mile drive. It's straight up the road. I'm going to take this order. Now they go to, they accept the order and then they go to Los Cabos. Now Los Cabos says, listen, the order's not ready yet. It's going to be 10 more minutes at this point. The dasher has the option of either waiting the 10 minutes to pick up the order or they can go into the app and unassign the order, which means they can just say, you know what? 10 minutes is too long. This is already too far of a trip. I don't want to take this order and they unassign it. When they do that, that order goes back into the wild and hopefully another dasher will pick it up, but not before several dashers will decline it because it's only showing a 625 even though you were generous enough to give a $10 tip, right? So now your order is already becoming delayed because dashers are not willing to pick up your order and go six miles for 625. That's just a fact. That's the way it works. But let's say you get somebody, they're waiting there. They unassign the order. Now it goes back into the wild. Now your order is ready, but there's no dasher there. Nobody's picked it up yet. Eventually, hopefully a dasher will go, you know what? I'm going to take the order. They get there, it's ready, they drive to you, you finally get it. By that time, your order is 10 to 20 minutes later than it should have been. Why? Because DoorDash is hiding your tip from the Dasher. They don't want the Dasher to know that you're giving a generous tip because they feel like that would cause Dashers to pick and choose the more expensive orders or the better orders and they would forego the smaller orders, which is not necessarily true, right? If you have a smaller order, smaller tip, but it's only a mile away, plenty of dashers are going to take those orders. 
So what they, to, what they do to try to level the playing field is that any order that they know is going to have a large tip, they hide it immediately. They don't want dashers to know that that trip is worth twelve fifty. So they're going to throw something like six twenty five at the dasher and hope somebody picks it up. If I have to say, this screws you, period. Your food is going to be delayed. It's going to be colder than it should be, right? So they're doing this on purpose. Right? And if I were you, I would be pretty mad about that, especially if you're a notoriously large tipper. And let's say you tip large because you want someone to take care of your order, you want to get it quicker. Bullshit. It's not happening. DoorDash is screwing the driver and screwing the customer. Right. So this is my solution, at least temporarily. This is what I would ask you to do as a customer that tips generously and expects good service. When you place the order, let's say you're going to give an $8 tip or a $10 tip. What I would do if I were you, when you place the order, before you submit it, go into the order comments and write the words $10 tip included, $8 tip included. Because now, see, when a DoorDasher gets the order or before they accept the order, they don't see the order comments. Once they, once they accept the order, they then see the order comments. So let's say... I decide, you know, I'm going to go and I'm going to take this $6.25 order. Then I get to Los Cabos and they tell me there's going to be a 10 minute delay. But in the order comments, it said there's a $10 tip included. Guess what? I'm waiting. I'm there. I'm going to grab your order. I'm going to take it because it's a good order, right? So that's what I would suggest to you is if you're going to put it, if you're including a decent tip, put it in the order comments. The dasher will see it this way. If there's a delay on the pickup, the dasher won't unassign it and then and then go back into the wild and hope somebody else takes it. They're going to take it anyway. So that's my suggestion on how to get around DoorDash screwing with customers that give large tips. So that's my suggestion. I would ask you to do that. It helps you. It makes your order get there faster. It's good for the driver because now we know what the actual pay rate is and not the lie that DoorDash tells us. It's better for everybody all around. So that's what I would ask you. Um, hopefully you'll do that in the future. Okay. So this has been uh, advice for you, the DoorDash customer. Uh, hopefully if you like these videos, you'll give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. There's going to be a lot more information like this coming out and I will see you guys in the next video.